in MBSR and MBCT training, mindfulness is, is, is sort of more formally facilitated and practiced through meditation, mm -hmm. correct? Uh, which, which I don't have a problem with, but I also think the, the practice and the application of mindfulness can be uh, beneficial uh, in other ways, uh, not just through meditation or silence, agree or not. I do. Um, and I think what you're speaking to is that there's formal practice and there's informal practice. So if I sit and meditate for 20 minutes, that would be a formal practice. If I, every morning while I take a shower, really try to be present with the water and the sensations in my body and actually be taking a shower as I'm taking a shower instead of planning my day as I'm taking a shower. That would be considered an informal practice. Okay. Yeah. And I think that informal practices are really powerful and, and they do help us wake up throughout the day. And a lot of, a lot of people really benefit from them. Um, in my experience, when I've tried to only do informal practices and just say, well, I don't really need to sit on a given day, I'll just really try to be aware. I notice diminishing returns over time. So it's kind of like a car that was You're talking going, about for yourself personally? For myself or for the, personally, oh, okay. yeah. I see. Yeah, it's like a car that was going and then you take your foot off the gas and it still has momentum for a while, mm -hmm. but after a while it coasts to a stop. Mm -hmm. And if I'm doing a formal practice, my informal practices, they just come much more easily because there's already that energy in the system. So it's, it's a curious question to me of how much of a difference can only having an informal practice make. I think it can have a difference, um, but I do also think there's a dose response curve of the more, um, the more intentionally you build in some sort of formal practice, the bigger the response you're gonna get.